Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Boone, coming to you guys a brand new video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at week 2 of Supreme, uh, Spring Summer 18. Honestly, this week's not very crazy. It's kind of what I expected though. After week 1, usually week two is a little more settled down just because week one's so crazy. I'm sure a lot of the Supreme workers kind of want to take a break, things like that. So basically, we're just going to look through the whole lookbook. I'm going to be going on Sub Community where you can also go to go see the whole drop list, what's going to be dropping. You can also see sellout times. You can do a lot on this website, so I definitely recommend it to any of you that are into Supreme. Uh, but yeah, let's just jump right into it, you guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. I'm actually about to be going to the bins right after this video, recording some more thrifting action for you guys. So, you know, we are out here with the content. I'm doing the most I can because you guys have been showing so much love. Uh, thank you, everyone. We almost got like a thousand followers in a week, which is crazy. My question of the day for all you guys is what do you think of the Skull Pile Vans? I'm really curious because I feel like a lot of people either really like them or really don't like them. Uh, you'll find out my opinion in the video. I'm not going to say it quite yet, but uh, I'm really curious to see. I did a poll on my Insta to see how I was selected and saw that a lot of people seem to like them. It got like 60% uh, people said they would cop them over drop so I'm like pretty curious to see what all my subscribers have to say drop a comment letting me know your opinion of the skull vans but let's just get into actually looking at these items now you guys so starting it off we have the supreme wilson tennis balls um, these are definitely something I'm gonna be going for and as you can see a lot of other people are going for them um, I definitely think these are gonna sell out really really fast just because they're $16 when things tend to be cheaper retail uh, with supreme they sell out a lot faster because obviously more people can afford them uh, in terms of resale I like this item because you can sell them individually or as a set uh, which is always a nice thing to do um, actually the whole casing I think is super sick I literally did not realize that until right now um, that's pretty interesting so I definitely think I'll be picking these up um, but I think I'm gonna try to cart them with a different item I don't even care if I take the L because that is a little greedy but I don't really want to pay 10 shipping for these because there's gonna be like 26 bucks for tennis balls which is a little outrageous in my opinion uh, so now we have the Supreme Band Skull Pile Skate High uh, so we have those as well as the slip-ons dropping this week, I believe. I don't know why the slip-ons aren't here. Um, in my opinion, these vans aren't really for me. I don't think you could really match them with too many things because like the lime kind of green, like super neon look to them is really like hard to match with a lot of other clothes. Uh, I don't really like the skull design itself. Like, I don't know. It's just not really a van for me. I've really enjoyed too many of the Supreme Vans collabs recently. I don't know. Like... The 666 ones I wasn't a fan of, the Blood Semen ones I wasn't a fan of, these I'm not really a fan of. It's kind of a bummer, but I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm definitely not going to be copying for the personal, but I might still buy them to resell. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but I definitely know for sure uh, so far I'm going to be getting the tennis balls. Uh, next up, we have the stacked long sleeve top. I actually really like this pink uh, little camel colorway. I think girls are going to be loving that one and some guys, I guess. I actually might get that. I didn't even realize that was there until now. Um, the actual Supreme like font on it, I don't really like the font they chose and the whole stacked Supreme logos. I don't think looks the best, but I'm really curious to see how it translates to these other designs. If it's a pink um, like spell out text on this pink one, I might have to get that just because I think that's going to have some nice value on it. Next we have the corduroy baseball jersey. If you saw my Supreme lookbook review, I actually really like this piece. I'm kind of bummed you can't see too well um, the colors of the fonts on each jersey. I'm really curious to see what color the white has I'm pretty disappointed the black one has this like cyan color which I don't like um, the teal one's actually pretty fire it's got like a maroon looking color on it but I think the orange so far out of what we have seen is the best I really like it I actually enjoy the corduroy um, feel on these items I just think it's cool to do baseball jerseys with corduroy Supreme's never afraid to stray into a path of like newer um, materials on weird items so I definitely do like this item I don't think I want to spend hundred and like forty eight dollars on it and I'm also a little worried it might be a little too hot to wear in the summer just because it is corduroy but who knows uh, who knows how thick it is or anything like that I don't know if I'm gonna cop yet um, next we have the sleeve script sideline jackets uh, let me know what you guys think about these these again seem pretty hit or miss I don't really like them too much I don't really like uh, just how it's only a logo on like the sleeve like that it's not really something I would cop and I don't like the colorways too much the black one's kind of hard and this navy one's pretty hard but that's about it that's the only ones I like and I definitely would not buy them for the personal just based off that retail next we have the studded arc logo leather jacket it. When they actually first released a little teaser of the lookbook, this is the item we saw. I'm going to throw a picture of the back of this on the screen right now. I can't because my computer is being glitchy. I apologize for that. Not something I would cop, honestly. I do think this Gucci colorway is super hard with the cream accent. Um, $700 is crazy for retail, but it makes sense. It's probably a really nice quality leather jacket. I like all the colorways except for this kind of um, light blue one, but I definitely would not be copping. I'm curious if Jacob Star is going to cop that and do a fit pick with it. He might because I know that man always is liking the Gucci colorway. Um, next, you have the Supreme Vans Skull Pylon Slip-Ons. I don't know why they're all the way down here now with the skate highs. Uh, I do like these more than the skate highs, to be honest. Um, again, I don't think 
think I'd cop, but I might buy these for the resale, to be honest. Hate on me if you wish, but your boy's got to make a buck so I can get them other Supreme Junts that I actually want. Um, I definitely don't think I'd keep these. I do like uh, Van slip-ons, but I don't like these ones. Again, just the colors and designs don't really hit for me. Uh, next, we have the diagonal hooded sweatshirt. I really don't like this piece at all. The black one might be kind of nice, but it's just really random to me. Like, it doesn't really look good. Um, it looks almost like a, like a Microsoft PowerPoint, like the slides how you can design them with pre-made designs. It looks like something like that. Um, that's a really random comparison, but it's the first thing that hits my mind. Not something I would cop. I'm going to pass. Uh, I don't like the multi-stripe long sleeve tops. I'm not going to be copping. This pink colorway is absolutely hideous. These two colorways aren't too bad and the black's decent. Um, next we have the color block half zip sweatshirt. Uh, not really for me. I think the colors they chose on this are disgusting. Like what is this orange on green? Like what even is that? Who thought that was a good idea um, none of these really look too good to me just like this whole um, color blocking is just not like a good look at all I'm kind of hating on this jacket more than I should be but just something I'm definitely gonna be avoiding next you have the world-famous zip-up hooded sweatshirt um, let me actually click on this and get a little more up-close view uh, nothing I would cop honestly I don't really like it too much especially if like zip-up hoodies are not the wave right now in 2018 let me tell you right now so that's a pass for me Tiger Stripe track jacket speaks for itself. That thing is so disgusting. I don't even want to look at it. Uh, next up, we have the zip up work shirt. If you're trying to look like Charlie Sheen, two and a half men, maybe put this on. Otherwise, stay clear of this. Nothing's good about it. The Gucci colorway might sell, but just because it's the Gucci colorway. Next, you have the Dash's zip up knit polo. This thing is, again, horrible. It looks like something your grandpa would wear. Um, that is just so terrible. I don't even know why Supreme bothered making that. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Next, you have the Tartan flannel shirt. Very random, just nothing I would cop. I don't really want like some random flannel that doesn't say Supreme all over it because how are the ladies gonna know I have Supreme on? They're not looking at this little tag. I need stuff all over my chest. I need it everywhere. Um, so that's a pass. I didn't want to try to boucle camp cap. That sounds so bougie, so I'm gonna pass. Uh, these denim suede compact logo six panels are kind of hard, but I wish they actually did the classic logo. It's almost the New York classic logo, but it's not, so I'm kind of disappointed about that. These are terrible. Repeat mesh back five panels. That's just horrible. Um, coated linen camp cap, terrible. Tiger stripe stripe track pants, terrible. But I like them more than a hoodie. I definitely think they translate to pants better than they do in the hoodie, or it actually was like a zip up, I believe. But that does it for the whole week, you guys. Not a crazy week, like I said. They're just trying to chill out a little bit ever since week one, because that was a crazy drop. If you haven't watched my week one live cop, you're sleeping. Go peep that. Um, let me know what you guys are going to be going for. Let me know what you think about the Skull Vans and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you haven't already and drop a subscription as well because I'm doing this every week, baby. We are out here. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's been your boy Boone. I'm out. Peace.